whether it's love or lust, we must solidify our intentions to avoid a disconnect between our constellations. We all encounter people in our lives that will change us for the better or worse, perhaps a blessing or a curse. Meeting for the first time is like a sign from a power so divine that we couldn't define yet we didn't question we believed. You were the vaccine for my hopelessness. You saw a closed mind so then you opened it. Potential as your man, I hope you noticed it. But the odds weren't in my favor. See, I used to cling on to my past because I couldn't digest the fact that after the amount of prayers and devotion I gave to an entity that I deemed worthy of becoming one spirit with was finding its way out of my reality. Not tending to a situation ship can leave your heart pending like a soul waiting for its acceptance into heaven. For us to succeed, we gotta move like the SEAL Team 6. Synchronize spiritually and mentally to, to the, the point, point where you, you know exactly how I'm feeling. feeling. See, sometimes comprehension can be more important than the condom because if we're on the same page and our commitment is concrete, then our chances of creating more confidence and confirmation will create less confusion and regretted consequences. What hurts the most about this is that when things don't work out, being friends just isn't the same. Complete strangers to distant lovers, to united beings, to being control out deleted out of your life with a cycle. I know you can probably care less, but as time passes, I've been trying to do me, yet I can't help but think about you. Waking up in the middle of the night, leaving my fantasies to come back to reality is bittersweet. A double-edged sword that I can't wield no control. Sometimes I wish that I could dream forever and never wake up because that's the only time I can see you. Yes, I know I'm a fool. Like expired sour patches, first these dreams are sour, but then they're sweet cause the only relief I have received is that I'm still alive, though I feel defeated because we're no longer feet to feet, side by side, no eye to eye, I'm confounded. I've grown but my heart has purchased a bigger shield than the last. You've relinquished our friendship and I guess I'm still trying to cope because deep down inside a part of me is still trying to collect the ashes of our campfire that we ignited with sentimental moments and a dialect that only we could understand. I know I made mistakes, I'm still learning how to be a man. This was never part of our plan but I learned to put everything into God's hands because he knows what's best for the both of us. <laughs> I know you can probably care less. But as time passes, I've been trying to do me, yet I can't help but think about you. And I've been praying for your safety, so I hope one day you see the clues. That love is patient, and our experience is living proof that no matter how hard you try, if it's meant to be, the both of you have to be the ones who choose.